Teachers from the Multicultural Academy Charter School in the Hunting Park section of Philadelphia. And they just entered the classroom. The show put students versus their favorite teachers. Hey, look who showed up to rock the socks today. We got the best cheering section in the mix. Okay? The smiles on that front row are big, and I love it. Hey, it's winner take all on the cash and bragging rights before we meet our contestants. It's time right now for a pop quiz. <laughs> You guys have some friends out there. They must love you guys. All right, teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points for your team. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get it right, 10 points. If you get it wrong, contestant from the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz starts right now. What does the word bonjour mean in French? Miss Hare. Hello. Good. What is the name of the area where hockey players are sent after they violated a rule? Mr. Larkin. Penalty box. Good. In humans, what is the only internal organ that can regenerate itself? Mr. Larkin. The liver. Liver's right. What Fox show starring Queen Latifah revolves around three talented young singers who form a musical group? Star. Star is right. What is the capital of Ohio? Hakeem. Cleveland. Going for another one, teacher for the seal, Mr. Larkin. Columbus. Columbus is right. How many acute angles are an acute triangle? Mr. Tran. Two. Students for the seal. Rosita. Three. Three is right. That's what we're looking for. What financial company wants to know what's in your wallet? Rosita. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's Teachers for the Steel, Mr. Tran. Capital One. Capital One is what's in our wallet there. I love that face. Kendrick Lamar teamed up with what artist for all the stars from the movie Black Panther? Miss Hare. SZA. Good. What Jack London novel tells the story of Buck who is stolen from his home and sold into service as a sled dog? Mr. Larkin. Call the Wild. Good. Kim Jong-un is the supreme leader of what country? Hakeem. North Korea. Good. What 2007 Disney movie features Lewis, a young inventor who time travels to find the family he never knew? Hakeem. Meet the Robinsons. Love that movie, and I love that answer. That's going to get you 10 at the buzzer. And that's it for Pop Quiz. Let's take a look at our scores. Teachers out of the gate early with 70 points on the board. Students firing right back there at the end, getting a 40 point on the board. Man, we're off to a great start, and I'm glad you guys are here because we have the students and teachers from the Multicultural Academy Charter School in the Hunting Park section of Philadelphia. Let's meet some of our team members here. Laser, good to see you. Hi. How are you? Good. Welcome onto the classroom. We're so pumped you guys are here. You got three team members. You ready to rock today? Yeah. All right, we have a good team. I just got off to a good start for you guys there. Uh, $500 if you win today where's that gonna go it's going towards our music program for microphones awesome why not right we want to hear you guys sing or play instruments whatever you're doing maybe, maybe amplify a little bit that sounds great so this is what's great about you too is you're the El Presidente <laughs> of the school you kind of run the ship around there yeah what's the greatest thing you guys are doing this year looking forward to our senior trip oh yes give me some of that <laughs> I love you you guys know where you're going yet yes we're going to Washington DC to the African American Museum that's awesome what a cool what a cool trip for everyone to be on board with uh, welcome to the show we're Glad you're here. Rosita, 11th grader, you're, uh, you have some big dreams ahead of you. Tell everybody what you want to do. I want to be the first Muslim black, um, first Muslim African Supreme Court Justice. Let's go. Well, I'll tell you what, there's no place to start like right here. And I'm telling you, as you're off to a good showing here, you already did well on Pop Quiz. I'm telling you, it's just going to go keep going up and up. So good luck. I can't wait to see what your future holds for you. And Hakeem all the way there at the end. Yo, nice handshake on the way in. I like what you were giving me there. Uh, 12th grader, you're, you, you play in the band. Yeah, um, I play in our school band. I play the bass. So bass is one of those instruments that so it, like, it, it baffles me because they're so important to the band. And you guys always look so just, you're just dead square face, no smile, like you're not having any fun. But I feel like that's what you have to be as a bassist. Is that you? Yeah, Do you yeah. have a bassist face? 
Um, I, I, I smile a lot, so. Yeah. <laughs> you like to give that smile? Yeah. All right, well, hopefully that smiles continue, guys, because we have 500 on the line for those microphones, especially if you're in the band. Let's get those today, all right? Good luck, guys. We got a squad over here of some of the coolest teachers, Mr. Larkin. Five hundred dollars. If you guys win, where's that going to go? Um, it's going to the Max Family Fund, which is it's a fund that we set up at the school to help out our students and their families who uh, might be in some financial That's need. That's perfect. I got two I, two great ideas here on both sides, so money's going uh, someplace awesome either way. So you're an English teacher, uh, and you have two of the three in the class right I, now. I do, yeah. Who do you have? I have Hakeem and I have Alasia. All right. So if you get beat today. You're going to tell everybody? That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling it now. So has there been some trash talk today? A little bit, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. All right, well, good luck, man. Yeah. Good luck. Miss Hare, you're an art teacher in the school. I've always wondered this. Do art teachers, you teach it all day, is that something you really want to go home and keep doing? Yes, I love to draw and paint. So what's your, what's your happy medium? My medium I use is ink. Oh, yeah. awesome. Is there anywhere we can see your work? Yeah, you can check out my website at katiehair.com. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. I love that. <laughs> She's like, by the way, if we're going to talk about my website, my name expires in three days. Yeah. So get on and don't let it expire. We're all going to be going to nowhere. Mr. Tran, you are a traveling expert, not to mention the math teacher at school. Man, you're going to be all over the country here in the next few weeks. Yes, um, I plan on going to Florida next weekend and the weekend after um, California. Like just quick trips? Yes, quick trips. To do what? Just to, just to see friends and eat. Yeah, not a bad thing to do. If you need a wingman, dude, call me. Mr. Trent, I'm rolling with you guys. All right, we have three awesome teachers, three great students, and we are playing detention. Let's go. Hakeem, has Mr. Larkin been talking trash a little bit in school? Yes, every day. Uh, so you're ready to say, not today. This yeah. is my time. All right, guys, well, good luck. Teams, you can put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other side to detention, which I promise you feels great. But if you get it wrong, the other side can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to the other, excuse me, the first team to send everybody else from the other team to detention is going to get 40 points, bragging rights, and be in control of this game. Students, we need this one for you guys, so let's do it. Category is Instruments. <laughs> Everybody's just looking at the key. We're going to play. Bass and snare. Are you kidding me? Are two types of what musical instrument? Uh, Bass and right? snare. Oh. A little no, percussion. 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 Correct. <laughs> we accept drums or per percussion there. Nicely done, guys. I thought, as soon as I saw bass, I thought this was about the bass guitar. So you still got that one, and you're in control of this game. One of these three teachers has to take the walk to detention, and great news, guys, you decide who it is. Mr. Tran. Mr. Tran, <laughs> out of the game, my friend. He's a big time traveler. He can travel his way right over to detention. Mr. Tran, you blend in with the background. It looks like you were meant for that seat. All right. Here we go. Teacher's category for you guys is television. What? Okay, good teamwork. Mr. Larkin says we're going for it. Sure. Phil and Claire Dunphy, Gloria and Mitchell are characters on what popular TV show? One second. Um. Sorry, as we're looking for modern family was the right answer. Hey, you three, you guys got it right. You didn't even have to get it right. They got it wrong, which means somebody else goes to detention. Mr. Larkin. Mr. Larkin. <laughs> Mr. Larkin, out of the game. Man, oh man, we're getting close. We have one teacher remaining. You can hold it down for the teachers. They're looking at you're looking at you right now. Like you got it. All right, guys. Category is famous families. You have three bright minds over there. Yeah. Yeah. Sasha and Malia are the daughters of what former U.S. president? President Barack Obama. Do you guys feel the broom? Because teachers just got swept, baby. Miss Hare, you got to go to detention. Students with an absolute sweep of the round. Just like that, 80 points for them, 70 for our teachers. Hey, we're going to be right back to see how well our contestants are spelling.
have students and teachers from the Multicultural Academy Charter School in the Hunting Park section of Philadelphia, and it's battling it out right now because teachers and students are both here to play. Students, you're in the lead right now with 80 points on the board. Teachers, 70. 10 points separates first and second right here. Granted, there's only two teams, but it's a close game nonetheless. There's still plenty of time left for anyone to win this thing, so we're getting right back into it with some spell check. Okay, here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. You get it correct? You stay in the game, but if you get it wrong or you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points onto that score. But if the clock runs out, each player left standing is going to get 10 points for their team just for making it through that intense two minutes. And that intense two minutes starts right now. We're going to start with you. Your first word, actor. Actor. A-C-T-O-R. Way to break the ice. Urban. Urban. U R B A N. Good job, Mr. Larkin. Sita, come on up. Panel. 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 P A N A L. E L. Sorry, Sita, you're out of there. Sketch. Sketch. S K E T C H. Good job, our teacher. <laughs> Janitor. Janitor. J A N I T O R. Good job. Weapon. Weapon. W E A P O N. Good job. Feasible. Feasible. F E A S I B L E. Good job. Carriage, Mr. Larkin. Carriage. C A R R I A G E. <coughs> Good job. Intrepid. Intrepid. I N T R P I D. Forgot the E in there. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Personnel. Personnel. P E R. S-O-N-N-E-L. Good job. Holding it down for the students here. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. N-A-S-N-O. I'm sorry, and we are out of students, which means teachers just bang 30 points. Man, this is a back and forth game. That brings them up to 100 points for them. 80 for our students. It's anybody's game as we continue on. We're not done yet. We're taking a field trip and gearing up for the final exam. The classroom still in session. When we come back, come on back. We got sweeps both ways. to the classroom. I love that you guys came back. Today we have the students versus teachers from the Multicultural Academy Charter School in the Hunting Park section of Philadelphia, and I've made my way out into the crowd because I've had a front row just screaming the whole show, and this is it. You, you guys give them a little taste of what was been... Yeah. That's it. <laughs> They've been lighting it up, and I'm so pumped because we've had an awesome game on our hands so far. So right, you, what's your name? Brianna. Brianna, how cool has this game been? It's been back and forth. Teachers are in the lead right now, but it's it's anybody's game. They got 100 points on the board. I mean, it's nail. Like, there's a whole nother game, and I'm, I got faith in my students. All right, okay, love that. Speaking of faith, I got faith in you, Kareem. Sh you have these glasses on there, but this is the new wave, right, where you guys wear glasses that aren't prescription. They just look good. <laughs> so give them this right here. Show them how good that looks. Put those puppies down. Oh! Yeah! And he's right, they do look good. So nice choice by you. Mr. Trans, we got your nieces and nephews, or just your nieces out here. Big game. So we're jumping on the bus. You guys coming too? We're hitting a field trip. Let's go. <laughs> Favorite subject in school, if you consider field trips a subject. All right, grab your buzzers, teams. Hey, we're taking a field trip to Citizens Bank Park to test your baseball knowledge. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and you get it incorrect, a member of the other team is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal. Fox 29's anchor Kristen Rogers is asking the questions and driving the bus today. So, Kristen, we're loaded. Seatbelts are on. Take it away. 
Richard, that's right. I am outside of Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies, and here is your first question. The Phillies play as part of Major League Baseball. How many teams total are there in the MLB? Mr. Larkin, 32. 32 is incorrect. Students for the steal. Hakeem, 30. 30 is right, my man. Gets on the board. Just like that, brings it within 10 points here. 100 points to 90 points. Nice answer. Hey, Kristen, take it away. And your next question. The Phillies played the Mets in 2018 during the Little League World Series. In what city was that game played? Mr. Larkin. Williamsport. Williamsport's right. You got to drive right through it if you're on Route 15. Williamsport, New Jersey, or excuse me, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. That's a great answer for you. And this is, guys, our final question on the field trip. So good luck. And finally, former Philly Jim Tomey was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2018. In what city is it located? Mr. Larkin again. Cooperstown, New York. Cooperstown's right, bringing your score up to 120 to the students' 90. It's still tight here. A big thanks to Kristen Rogers. I appreciate you doing that for us. And leading this field trip, she always does such a great job. Let's take a look at our scores. Teachers in the lead, 120 to the students' 90. It's anybody's game as we head into that final exam. Final exam is silent K. That means we are asking questions about words with a silent K in them. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer team is worth 100 points for your score. You're going to work together during the commercial break. No writing quite yet. I'm going to give you these questions first. Here's question number one on the final exam. What is the name for the bone joints where your fingers connect and bend and where your fingers join the hand? Silent K. Question number two, what kind of armor-wearing mountain soldiers protected a king or queen during the Middle Ages and can now be seen at a Renaissance fair? It's a silent K. Eminem's 2017 song, Walk on Water, features vocals by what artist who has a silent K in part of her name? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to confer, talk about their answers, and write them down. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to see which team aces this final exam. Going to take that $500 back to their school. Hey, but first, they might be here today. I want you guys here tomorrow. Here's a look at how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have students and teachers from the Multicultural Academy Charter School going head-to-head. -head. Right now the scores. Teachers are in the lead, 120 points to the students, 90. The topic of today's final exam, Silent K. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget, guys, each correct answer is worth 100 points, so a possible 300 points still on the board. Each correct answer is going to have a Silent K in it, so we're going to see how they do. Let's see who aced this final exam to take that money back to their schools. Question number one, what is the name for the bone joints where your fingers connect and bend and where your fingers join the hand? Silent K. Students, we're going to start with you. Hakeem? Knuckle. Knuckle is right. There's 100 points for you guys. All right, here we go. Going over to the uh, teachers. Mr. Tran, you guys said? We also had Knuckles. Knuckles, okay, back to back. <laughs> Going right into question number two. What kind of armor-wearing mounted soldiers protected a king or queen during the Middle Ages and can now be seen at Renaissance fairs? Silent K. Rosita, you said? Knight. Knight with a heart will take it. 290. Teachers? Miss Hare? Knight. Knight is also right. With a drawing from the... Can I see that one more time? It's Look at this good. illustration from the art teacher. That looks good. <laughs> Don't forget her website, MissHair.com. Okay, moving right into question number three. Now, this comes down to our final question. Students, you have 290. Teachers with 320 on the board. A lot on the line. Mr. Larkin, you have two of these students over here. If you lose today, what's the first thing you're doing? 
Ah. You say buying donuts for the class tomorrow? I guess so, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, you're welcome, guys. Yeah. Here we go. Eminem's 2017 song, Walk on Water, features vocals by what artist who has a silent K in part of her name? We're going to do a double reveal here because we have two wildly different answers. Mr. Larkin, you said... Beyonce Knowles. Students, you said... Alasia. <laughs> I want to remind you... This category is called Silent K. <laughs> and I don't know an artist named Esha, but I know one named Beyonce Knowles Carter. Silent K and the Knowles teachers have won the game. Bring their score to 420. Come on out, guys, and grab that $500. Alasia Racina Hakeem, come on out here and join us. Hey, we got the whole crew here. You guys have a good time. I hope you guys did as well. We're going to see you next time in the classroom. New students, new teachers, and $500 in bragging rights back on the line. Show them the love, baby.